So now let's talk about how we can better understand the dot product in a geometric sense. So as you'll recall, the dot product involves two vectors. Um, here, let's call them u and v. So I've labeled the angle, the smaller angle between those two vectors as theta. So there's a very nice identity that I'm going to write here that relates the dot product of u and v to that angle theta between the two vectors. And it goes like this. u dotted with v is the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine of the angle between the two vectors. Okay. Now if you haven't had trig, cosine's a, a well-known function in trigonometry. And cosine basically just relates the edges in a right triangle to this referenced angle theta. And I'll just sort of plug in some numbers and we don't have to worry about the finer details of cosine, the cosine function for now. So I'm going to make a claim here that the dot product basically quantifies or measures how well aligned two vectors are, or you could say how similar two vectors are. Let's consider a few cases to illustrate that notion. So three cases, let's say. Number one, well, if we want to quantify how well aligned two vectors are, let's think of a nice simple case. What if the vectors are totally in alignment? In other words, if I have the vector u and the vector v and they're just parallel. So that's about as well aligned as two vectors could be. Well, in that case, the angle between the two vectors is zero degrees if they're totally parallel. And let's see what the implication then is with our identity from above. So u dotted with v then is the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine of zero degrees. Now cosine of zero degrees from trigonometry should know is one. So in other words, the dot product of two vectors that are totally in alignment, in other words, totally parallel, is simply just the product of their norms, the product of the lengths of those vectors. So what does that mean? Well, you'll remember from trig that cosine is a number between negative 1 and 1. So in other words, this is the maximal value in a positive sense, the maximal positive value the dot product could be if, they, if those two vectors are totally aligned. So let's say this is maximally positive. Ah. So that kind of coheres with this notion here. If the vectors are in total alignment, then the dot product is maximally positive. So they're very well aligned. We get a big positive number. Now let's consider a couple other cases. So for a second case, how about the opposite of that? Well, if vector u and v are going in opposite directions, that would seemingly be the opposite case. You can say the uh, vectors in this case are anti-parallel. And if you think about it, the angles then between those two vectors it's 180 degrees. They're going in opposite directions. Okay, so let's see what the ramifications here are for the dot product. So the dot product, again, by the identity, is the norm of u times the norm of v, now times cosine of 180 degrees. And from trigonometry, you can see that the cosine of 180 deg degrees is negative 1. So therefore, the dot product of u and v, when my vectors are totally out of whack, in other words, going in opposite directions, I'll pull the negative out, is negative norm u times norm v. Okay, once again, cosine is bounded between negative 1 and 1. So when the vectors are anti-parallel, the dot product is a very large negative number. Another way to put that is it's maximally negative. Okay, And this once again sheds light on the idea that the dot product is assessing how well aligned two vectors are. If they're totally out of alignment, they're going in opposite directions, we get a very large negative number. A third kind of natural case to look at would be, well, what's kind of halfway in between parallel and anti-parallel? Well, that's if the vectors meet at a right angle. Okay. So in other words, our theta, our angle between the two vectors would be 90 degrees in this case. And the dot product, once again using the identity from above, is the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine of 90 degrees. Now cosine of 90 degrees from trigonometry is actually equal to zero. So in this case, the dot product of u and v equals zero, or exactly halfway in between. So when they're parallel, we get a big positive number. When they're anti-parallel, opposite directions, we get a big negative number. And when they're right in between, the dot product is going to be zero, when they meet at a right angle. Now this notion is very important
when you deal with matrices and what's called linear algebra. So important, in fact, that the dot product when it's zero has a special name, and these vectors are said to be orthogonal. So orthogonal for us in a geometric sense just means the two vectors meet at a right angle. Specifically, the definition is if the dot product is zero, the vectors are called orthogonal. And it's also worth mentioning, I mean, there's lots of cases I haven't included here, but it's not that hard to see if you know kind of the behavior of the cosine function. Now, what if instead of being in one of kind of these three pathological cases, what if just the angle's acute, if it's a small positive number, what is the dot product going to be? Well, cosine in that case is going to be a relatively small positive number. So when the vectors are closely aligned, but not totally you know, in sync as if the case when they're parallel, then the dot product is a smaller positive number. So that positive value is still showing us they're relatively well aligned. On the other hand, if the angle between the two vectors, let's say is obtuse, in this case, in other words, it's going to be bigger than 90. Well, if you know a little bit about cosine, right, then that uh, cosine value is going to be negative. So the dot product would be negative. It'll be smaller than when they're anti-parallel. But nonetheless, the negative sign connotes the fact that they are not totally in sync. They're sort of dissimilar in that way. So that is our basic connection here between the dot product and a really important fundamental uh, interpretation of it in a geometric sense. The dot product shows us by this identity how well aligned two vectors are.